This is Odin's Wolf Survival, and we're back here again from the Great Forest of Kansas. It's a little bit cooler today, although not very much. I'm trying to catch this as the sun's going down, just to make it a little more comfortable, light a little better. Today we have a Therm hard case, protective case for a Zippo. Now this fits the standard Zippos. It doesn't fit the electric versions and things along that line. And it fits a few of the gas models, of which this is one, which is the Z Plus Extreme. And you can see it's loaded up. Dual arc, kind of cool. The one thing that I've always not liked about the Zippo, and I used to carry one in the service, was the regular case. You get a little bit too much fluid in them, you leak. And back in the day, the old BDUs, we went on a we went on a long road march with a pack, and I just filled my lighter, stuck it in my pocket. Well, those pockets on the camo BDUs tended to slip around a bit. And if you've never had lighters or never had lighter stones from a Zippo, it's a unique experience. I had welts on the inside of my leg from where that lighter lit up, where it leaked the fluid, and other a few other places on my dangly bits that got. A few welts. That kind of broke me at carrying a Zippo right there. I still, I still have the original Zippo I've got. It's setting up on a shelf. I look at it every now and again, and just say, oh, "Nope, not today." But this is a hard. <laughs> yeah, it's funny now. It wasn't funny then. This Therm hard case. It's very hard. It's a ballistic nylon, I do believe o-ring sealed which will minimize leakage and it does it holds fluid it, it doesn't keep the fluid from evaporating completely but it lasts a lot longer than your regular zippo will with fluid cool thing is it's got a clip that will fit molly it'll fit in the wash pocket of your jeans i've carted this around a bit i kind of like it although to tell the truth i kind of like the gas the gas one a bit better but Price in on these, things are expensive. This is getting 30, this is $30, and I'll have links down below in the description to all this. I got them off Amazon. This is $15, and I think this is 18. And with these gas inserts, or any gas lighter, use the recommended gas butane that they call for. Don't go cheap because you'll be buying a new one. It seems like every time that I've tried that, and luckily I haven't tried it with an expensive lighter, but most other things that you do that to will eventually plug up and quit working. That's the problem with most of them. You have to use the good gas because it's filtered and filtered and filtered, usually triple filtered. The cheap ones aren't. Okay, now how this works, this case, and I'll pull this in, this case has a spring in it, so the Zippo lid flipper pieces are kind of moved on this, so just leave them snapped up. There's your O-ring, like I said. You can see it snaps up. This is loosened up. It was a little bit stiffer. As you use them, it'll loosen up. Pin through, like I said, the clip and the hook release. And you can actually make it to where it don't open if you slip something through there tie it although you can also use this as a carry option but it does open as you can see now this being the standard zippo well before we go that far let's go this route <laughs> this one drops right in fits as it should the only thing that I don't like about this is this gets in the way when you're running it. You can see right there. It lit up. This is cottonwood right here. You have fire. I got those twin gas jets will provide a bit Quite a little bit of heat right there. Didn't get hot in that length of time. Now the Zippo, typical insert, a little bit of fuel. If 
fit it in. Same thing, you can run extra. You, since it's Zippo, it uses standard plants, wicks, and fluid. As you see, you can store extra plants down the bottom like I usually do. There you go, you have flame there. The other thing that's not as good with this is a standard Zippo. Because the bottom isn't flat, so it doesn't stand up very well. It will stand up, but just not real great. Has a tripod effect, but your standard Zippo will stand on the table a little better. And you can stand it up and use it like a little candle if you need to. That will work. It's just not as stable, I don't think. But again, it works. With the price that some of the Zippos are getting, this isn't too out of line, but it's not a cheap piece of gear for you bargain hunters. But if you're looking for something that's fairly tough, this thing's pretty rugged. I've stepped on it and it hadn't broken. Accidentally, of course, and in bare feet. But, you know, 200 pounds stepping on it, it didn't break. Didn't misshape it. Actually, probably did more to my foot than it did to it. It's not a bad bit of kit. Therm with both with both inserts. I'll have the links for them to the, uh, at the in the description. So if you're looking for something unique, there you have it. And this comes in four colors: blaze orange, gray, od green. And I can't remember the other one off the top of my head. But I'm sure it'll pop up when you look for it. Me, I'm not a Blaze Orange fan. Never really have been. Oh, and black. So I went with the uh, OD Green. Which is kind of a standard go-to. The Therm Hard Case and the Zippo Lighters. They, either one will run you about... Oh, you can get... You can get either set up for about 50 bucks, which isn't cheap, but some of the Zippo lighters are going for far more than that. And if you already have an insert, this runs you 30, so you're good to go there. Depending on what you're looking for, this isn't too bad. This will make a Zippo last longer if you're a die-hard Zippo carrier, since it has an O-ring, and you won't get the fluid burns on the side of your leg, which really kind of blows. This is Odin's Wolf Survival. Thank you for watching. And like. If you if you like it, please please subscribe and like the video and share it out. Have a great day.